Hello guys, Let UI here. This is part of a crash course in Figma's auto layout. In this lesson, we are going to design a masonry grid using auto layout. We will be learning things like how to create multiple cards with the help of components, how to create a column, how to create a grid, and finally, how to make it responsive. Are you ready? Let's get started. Here we have two text layers. The first layer has a font size of 28 pixels and the other is set to 24 pixels. Select both text layers, apply auto layout using Shift A, and rename them. In the auto layout properties panel, set the spacing between items to 4, and also apply a horizontal and vertical pattern of 30. Let me add a fill color so we understand what's going on. By default, the alignment is set to top left alignment and we can choose to place it anywhere we want. For this card design, we will set the alignment to bottom left alignment. Also add a corner radius of 10. Moving on, let's add an image using the Unsplash plugin. With the frame selected, Right-click and navigate to Plugins and select Unsplash. After adding the image, let's also add a dark gradient overlay so that regardless of the image, the text will still be visible. With the frame selected, go to your Properties panel and add a fill. Now select Linear from the drop-down menu and apply a dark linear gradient. Let's make the frame and its content responsive. Select both text layers and set horizontal resize into fill container. Now change the card into a component using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Alt K. This will help us reuse the card and also make rapid changes. Create an instance of the component and duplicate it a couple of times. Let's create a column. Select all the layers and apply auto layout. Go ahead and rename it. Duplicate the column twice. Select all the columns and apply another auto layout and rename it. To achieve the masonry style, let's delete some of the cards in the columns. After doing that, select some of the cards and change their heights. Sweet. Now let's apply a fill color of white to the parent frame. Select the parent frame and set spacing between items to 25. Then also select the columns and set the spacing between items to 25 as well. Select the parent frame again and set the horizontal and vertical pattern to 40. Let's make the design responsive. Select all the columns and set horizontal resizing for both width and height to fill container. Now the content frame is resizing to fill the container, but the content itself is fixed. To fix this, select all the cards and set horizontal resizing for both width and height to fill container. Now that the frame is resizing, select the parent frame and set the alignment to center alignment. 
Now it's time to change the card's images using the Unsplash plugin once more. Select all the cards and launch the Unsplash plugin. Apply a corner radius of 10 to the parent's container. If you don't like how the cards are arranged, you can simply select a card and drag it to a new location. You can also delete a card and auto layout will fill out the space. Finally, we use auto layouts to create a masonry grid. In our next and final course, we will look at how to use auto layouts to create a credit card form. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all our future contents. See you in the next one. Bye.